you know, Sean uh, and the other ambassadors came to us and were saying, you know, there's something here and we want to be a part of it. We want to show the world uh, about this hacker community who are building a ton of startups. And that's really why we are you know, enjoying being a part of the community City. Is it's new. Uh, I was speaking to a lot of mentors and judges who, you know, who have been a part of the startup ecosystem here in Michigan and are saying, you know, within the past four years, there hasn't been like hackathons, there hasn't been a huge startup community until now, and it's slowly growing. And that's really like why we want to be a part of that kind of uh, endeavor, that kind of initiative. And so I'm glad they, they reached out and you know, wanted to really show us. similar things happening uh, in Ho Chi Minh where the, the community is, is small but growing. Um, where I'd like to see, uh, what I'd like to see more in Ho Chi Minh is innovation. I see a lot of people who are copying X, Y, and Z. Um, I was really surprised and really happy by a lot of the innovation that I saw at this event. Uh, this event had a lot of really cool ideas and really yeah, unique challenges or unique solutions to two challenges um, that I was really, really pumped about. Um, but uh, I think on a, the whole, like uh, the innovation needs, needs to grow more. But at this particular event, it was great. Yeah, and you know I agree with all of you said. Uh, to add on top of it, some really cool things that I saw just by talking to the community was, uh, you know, I go to each city and I hear their perspective on startups, on uh, innovation, on, on technology, and some cities, uh, I won't name drop, but uh, they really want to make global solutions. And for me, I'm from LA, and we have a completely different tech ecosystem, even in SF, where you know they want to make global impact. They want to have these crazy schemes of, of creating a, a big product that reaches far and wide. Some cities that I, I visit in Southeast Asia want to create a local solution, what I saw in Ocean Man, which is really cool, is a little bit of both. It was, you know, they want to create a local solution, but they want to tell the world that Vietnam's here. Like, we're building tech, we're here, we're not, you know, we're not, we don't want to be quiet. Uh, this is our tech ecosystem, and, you know, this is a solution we're creating for our local community, but we want to share it with the whole world. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, so you want to think about that. Other 
just quick and dirty tips are um, get people in using your product early on. So if you're building something, get somebody in the door who knows nothing about what you're doing but could be helped by your product or service and get feedback from them. Get that feedback early on and keep doing that every single week as you're iterating on your product. Yeah. Um, the last thing I'll mention, it, or I'll mention is um, for tips is uh, go to events. Go out, get out there and meet other entrepreneurs and other people trying to do the same thing as you um, because it's going to add fuel to the fire that's under your ass which is to get this product out there, right? Um, you're going you're gonna to meet other people with that same drive and, and you know, you're going to feel like, oh man, it's exhausted, it's the end of the day or the end of the week and I just have been working so hard and there's this event you know, to go to but I don't really want to go, but just go. Yeah, just go, yeah, just go out, you know, you go and just talk to people and just just explain to them what you're doing and, and sorry, I know I said that was the last thing, but one more thing is get your elevator pitch down. Like, if you're a startup and English is not your native language, um, get your startup pitch down. Make it two sentences or less, ideally one sentence, so that somebody can understand what you are and what you do in one sentence or less. And on top of what he said, uh, I agree with you all. And that was being super positive. One negative thing I would say that people really should work on is soft skills. Uh, so, you know, having those communication uh, uh, communication skills, being able to pitch properly, and being able to communicate effectively is going to be really huge for uh, building your struggle. So, a lot of teams that have really good uh, communication skills. Uh, so, I think team Uh, of what I'm, what I'm going to be doing, and there's more on my website. 